All right, guys, so I need to start posting more uh, content on Rim Rim as we get closer to the engine swap. So today I'm going to be putting, well, I'm taking the uh, Outlander steering wheel off and I'm going to be putting it on my 2G and the 2G has a NRG um, detachable steering wheel, which I need to be able to get in out of here comfortably. Um, so yeah. Time to, I already started. So to get this thing off, you just have to take these back little bolts off right here. There's one on each side and the airbag comes off. Uh, I need to take my switch out because this is a normally open switch, which they're kind of hard to come by. And I need that for the nitrous. So before I can get that off, I got to take this whole thing off because these little plates have to come off. I believe the center bolt is 19, but I might be wrong. I am wrong, 17, let's see. Yeah, 17. All right, I don't know if this impact is strong enough to get this off. Somebody didn't connect the horn. Piss me off. These hubs are supposed to be the same. 
we will see. Perfect fit. missing out of here. Probably not gonna have any horn. There's something supposed to be in here. I'm gonna go look in the 3G. Yeah, this thing is missing. Well, I'll probably hit up a junkyard to get the ring so I can have a horn again. It's kind of upsetting.
see it. It looks pretty cool. I like it. I like the look of this in a 2G. It looks really cool. And figure out something to do. I'm gonna wrap, I'm gonna rewrap this and clean these. I'm gonna clean this whole thing up. So but overall I think this looks really nice. Here's the horn power. Here's the tricky part. The steering wheel only locks in one way. That's how it locks in. That means it needs to be like that. The last person had it on wrong. Oh, 
I do have this top piece somewhere, but it popped off when I was turning a while back. Bam, that easy. Oh my God, it's so much easier to get in and out. Oh yeah. That feels real good. It's, it's right here, I'm not like reaching. And... Feels like a race car now. Cool. Well, that's the install. Um, it's a little loose. I might get a new steering wheel. I don't really like the color, but that's amazing. Now I need to get these switches installed. So I might keep that one there. And then put the button here. Plug these here. Because this is just wood. But I think this, having it like here. Oh, that's amazing. It's not going to get tangled on these anymore. Ugh. Even if it's mounted here. That's good. Well, that's the install, guys. Um, I took my radio out. It was having some issues. So I'll be taking this out. Um, if anybody wants to buy it, hit me up. Um, I'll be putting the radio back in next week also this finally works the staging break um, it's not leaking anymore I do need to buy another bottle warmer because this one went out and the cheap eBay one still works so Hey, I'm 17 and I'm grown now. I'm moving on. What is this wiring? Yeah, what you doing? Yeah, we don't. We ain't not done now. Yeah. Oh, that's from the bottom of my. You know what? It might work. It might have just ripped out. I didn't even notice that. Might be why it's not working. All this stuff collecting dust. Well, I'm gonna find the cover, put the cover back on. Um, this is exciting. I really like this. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, a lot more content coming soon. Uh, I was gonna do the timing kit last night, but the um, it started raining. Oh, and then. If you guys are interested, I do have another manifold laying around. So, if anybody wants to purchase one of these direct port nitrous injection manifolds, I'll do all the tubing and I'll do the distribution blocks and I'll leave options for uh, if you want the, the solenoids too. Um, but I'll paint it up, you know, make it look nice. Mine looks like real rusty and bad. I'm gonna repaint this when I put the 7.4 in, but if anybody wants that done, hit me up and uh, we can get together and get a price for you. But yeah, that's it guys. Um, Y'all have a good day, man. Tune in for more stuff.